colleagues, hello, I hope all of you are fine. My name is Ivan Milinkovic and on behalf of the Junior Committee and Junior Academy of the EAO, I would like to summarize an article from International Journal of Orthodontics. Luigi Canulo and his group performed meta-analysis called What are the effects of different abutment morphologies on peri-implant hard and soft tissue behavior? We all know that implant success is dependent on the stability of both soft and hard tissues. Therefore, transmucosal abutment morphology may play a role in the connective tissue attachment stability and thus prevent further bone loss. Therefore, the aim of this meta-analysis was to assess the effect of different abutment morphologies on peri-implant hard and soft tissue behavior. Studies with RCT design with a minimum of 20 implants inserted and with a minimal 3 months post loading follow up were included. Studies had to present clear data on marginal bone loss and or aesthetic soft tissue results as well as morphology of the abutment. To summarize, a total of 12 full text articles were assessed for eligibility. Four fulfilled the inclusion criteria and were included in the meta analysis. The meta-analysis pulled data from 117 patients and 173 abutments. Marginal bone loss was chosen as an indicator of hard tissue changes, whereas peak aesthetic score was defined as the indicator of soft tissue modification. The included studies compared the outcome of a curved or concave abutment or a traditional divergent convex abutment. Detailed results, discussion and conclusions can be read in the article. Meanwhile, we can conclude that the abutment design may have an influence on marginal bone loss, but no impact on soft tissue. Yes, there is plenty of room for further research on this topic. Transmucosal abutment morphology can be analyzed related to soft tissue phenotype, different abutment materials, prosthetic reconstructions, abutment heights and designs, and of course, with a longer follow-up. Thank you and stay tuned for further activities of International Journal of Prostodontics, Junior Committee and Junior Academy of the EAO. Bye!